KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone. Today we have Lakshmi Pratyusha from Hyderabad with us and she has secured All India Rank 48. She was a student who has enrolled into a test series in study material code. So in this interaction session, we will get to know input from her as to how did she prepare for this examination and what was her preparation strategy. So firstly, Lakshmi, I would start by congratulating you on that wonderful rank uh, and we wish you all success even in your future. Thank you, sir. Uh, so let yeah. me begin by asking a very simple question and the most important one. How did you, uh, when did you start your preparation and when you started, what was the time left out and how did you plan your preparation to complete the entire syllabus? So, yeah, sir. So I began my preparation at roughly around three months before the exam date. So uh, that's unfortunately very less time. But I really managed to uh, utilize that uh, little amount of time. So initially, I evaluated the uh, syllabus for gate exam. And I divided into manageable sections, depending upon my weaknesses and strengths. And then I prepared a study plan where I could cover all the topics and also the and also revise the already covered topics. So that in that way I made a study plan. So that's how I started planning this for this exam. Yeah. Okay. So I, I would also like to ask what are the resources you so you prepared in three months of time. So what were the inputs? Like where did you study from? What are the resources you used? And how uh, did you make any notes for your self-preparation? So what was the resources which you had during these three months of time? Okay, sure. So my preparation completely relied on the study material that is from KP Institute. And along with that, uh, I uh, pref uh, along with that, the previous year test papers and the mock test and the test series, again from KP Gate Classes, uh, like they really helped me in assessing my progress and also identifying the areas which need uh, more attention. And during my preparation, I also uh, prepared short notes, uh, like the handwritten notes, where uh, uh, I, like I maintained it throughout my preparation and I noted the uh, main points and the key concepts, etc. So I uh, prepared from that notes, really. Like, uh, as the exam approached, I mainly focused on the short notes along with uh, solving test papers and the previous year test papers and the mock test. So it really helped me to boost my confidence and also uh, identify the areas which need uh, more attention for me. So yeah, that's how uh, I it went. Okay, so one more main concern which many students have is the numerical area. So what was your approach for that? How did you practice the numerical questions uh, mainly in the syllabus? Okay, so uh, from my graduation, I'm, I'm really good with the numerical questions, whether it is a structural part or anything. So the only thing I did was uh, uh, write all these formulas in my short notes and daily practicing, like uh, scheduling uh, 30 minutes of time for the formula part where uh, regularly I uh, I used to revise them and uh, yeah that's how uh, the short notes helped me with the numerical uh, questions and uh, really understanding the question and going with the formula so it really helped me with the numerical part. Okay that's nice and uh, in the syllabus there are some areas which you have to remember and memorize. So even that, like architects and the works or say landscape features, that aspects for that also, what was your strategy for that part then? Yeah, so here again from the KP Institute, I got this in cut where uh, all this uh, information was uh, really easy to uh, understand and easy to remember. So for that too, uh, during my last uh, moment, like the before the exam, I used to uh, uh, consider some time to revise and memorize those things from the incas. So that really helped me to, like those incas really helped me to uh, practice and memorize things. So that's how it went. 
ओके दैट्स गुड नाउ एज फेयर एज द एग्जाम इज कंसीडर्ड अच्छा बिफोर द एग्जाम आई आल्सो वांटेड टू आस्क व्हाट इज द एवरेज टाइम यू स्पेंट इज देयर एनी आईडिया ऑन दैट या सो एज आई ऑलरेडी मेंशन आई हैड दिस ओनली 3 मंथ्स ऑफ टाइम बिफोर माय एग्जाम लाइक फॉर द प्रिपरेशन सो इनिशियली आई टुक इट स्लो बट as within 2 weeks from my preparation i could really spend uh, an an average of 8 hours per day for my preparation and also i regularly took some breaks to avoid from burnout uh, so yeah that's good insight uh, other than that as far as the exam is considered which part did you attempt the architecture or the planning part and did you already decide or did you make that decision during the exam okay so after considering my interest and the career goals i sort of uh, going with planning part but during my preparation i uh, considered both the concepts of architecture and planning like i really uh, read both this but uh, then after that i realized the uh, the planning part is more uh, interesting and easy for me to understand so that's when i decided that i'll go with planning part that so So I took the part B in the exam, like B two. Yeah. Okay, so it was based on your personal interest and uh, yeah. your uh, the subject which you felt was easy. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thanks. And finally, uh, for the future, what is, I I'm I'm sure you must be planning for M plans and you you were saying it, with respect yes. to your career goals, you took that decision. Uh, so what are your ta- what's the target? Where are you aspiring to get into? Which college and yeah. which school? so i am considering pursuing my master uh, re- uh, related to the programs of uh, our planning so like the city planning or the urban and regional planning so yeah i am looking forward to it and i hope i'll get uh, the seat in iids or sca yeah so uh, so the main reason for selecting planning is my desire to uh, to have a broader impact on the communities and cities as a whole so yeah that okay we wish you get it to the course you would want to and we wish you all success in your future lakshmi and if i we are almost towards the end before i end is there any input you which you want to give as an advice uh, to the future aspirants what should they keep in mind for cracking this exam okay okay so thank you so much sir firstly and the thing is uh, what i want to say is uh, so we prepare study plans see uh, basically i am the person who make time tables but never follow but this time it is different so this sticking to the plans and showing up regularly for the plans which i made and being honest with my plans is the only uh, reason for me to crack this exam so i would suggest for everyone for the future aspirants too that uh, Uh, following a study plan and sticking to it and showing up regularly and honestly would be the best possible way to crack this exam so yeah thank you for that advice let me with that we'll be ending this session thank you for taking out time and having this short interaction which for sure will be useful for our future aspirants thank you yeah. again and congratulations and all the best thank, you. thank you so much sir and uh, The, so i really want to uh, thank uh, the institute especially for the study materials and the test series uh, because the concepts which were in the study materials were both deep and uh, they are really easy to understand and coming to the test papers they are massive like everything every concept is covered in the mock test so i am i am really thankful for the institute and for your efforts Thank you so much sir thank you the lord bless you dedicated to excellence